Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a simple tutorial on how to set up your own Minecraft server. Now, the first thing I'm going to I'm going to start off with is uh, just mentioning that you do not need to keep the part on your server as 25565. You can change it to whatever your router um, suggests it should be when you try and forward it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off straight away by just going into the command prompt. Like so. To do this, you need at least um, at least minor administrative privileges to be able to access your system. Then you type in ipconfig. So ip c o n f oh sorry f i g ipconfig. I have several wireless devices. Um, well, I have two actually. Um, I have two here. I'm going to take note of one of the IP addresses. I'm going to take 192.168.09 because it's the biggest number. It's the luckiest numbers. Um, I've had more luck with this one than I have the other, and I'm going to take a look at the default gateway as well. That default gateway, that is the access point to our router. Now, this is where the stuff gets complicated. We then need to go to our super hub, well, for me it's a graphic user interface. I'm going to sign out and sign back in again. Then you type in the IP address, that 192.168.0.1. And then you'd start putting in your password. So that would look more like that, anyways. So it'd look like that. You'd come up with this, and then you would type in your password. No password for you. Like so, you'd log in, and then you get to this. I'm going to go down to the advanced settings tab down here, and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit to secure it. Part forwarding. You need to forward your server. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the default. Um, the default port forwarding um, settings that will be coming up on this. So what I'll do is I'll select the service. I think I will use the CUC me. And you'll see it already puts in a start and end port. These we're going to keep the same. We're going to be using this for our server. Now I've remembered the IP address is going to be 0.9 like so. Um, so I'm going to use that, as you can see, and I'm going to call it not CUC me. I'm gonna call it. Oh, I'm gonna call it something a little bit like this. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry swiftly on right there. So we click Add Roll, and down here it will come up with our. On part 7648, TCP and UDP, of course, with our IP there. If we click apply, this adds our rule, which means we only need that to remember the part. Then, I've already done this, but what I'll do is I'll sort this out for you guys so you know what to do first. The only thing I'm keeping in here is the world that it generated because it's an, a relatively small map. It's quite simple for this system to handle while it's running Minecraft and a server at the same time. So what you will do before you actually carry on, you will download from here. You'll download either the Minecraft server.exe or if you want to mod or if you want to mod the server, the Minecraft server.jam. You'll download one of those. Just click on one. Select the one you want to download. Then you'd click save as if you like. Put it in a specific folder, save it, there you go. And then I'm just gonna close the current tab because I need that still open. That's for a little later on. And then what you do is we then open up our server. Like so. Now what this'll do is it'll create some files. The server will drop some files. This is good. If it drops the files, like it should do now. Alright, we'll go back to it. As you can see, it's starting to drop these files, and there we go. That's done. That's got everything we need. So, that server's done. That's ready. That is ready to work with. The next thing we do is we need to open this. We need to open this with Notepad, like so. Now, the one thing that I'm going to mention is the server port, which is this one. I'm going to change the port. Like so, I'm going to change the part to whatever one we had the last time. Um, let me just have a look here, what we had. Um, it's probably going to complain that I've my session's timed out in a moment. 7648. So that would be 7648. That's our 
So, um, that's that. And then our IP will be what we had earlier, 192.168.0.9. So we're going to save that. We save it. That's ready. All this is done. All this is ready. Run the Minecraft server. There we go. It's loading up the game. As you can see, so 7648 is our port. We then go to our port checker. Keep the IP address the same, but change the um, IP. Well, not the IP, sorry. Um, the uh, port. So we have 80.6.148.16 on port number 7648. What should happen is it will say that our port is open on that IP address. And if it's open, then that means if I use the external IP, I'll launch Minecraft. So, we then log in to our Minecraft account. Like so. I'm borrowing a friend's Minecraft for this, because mine's not premium. And I'm laying off. Yeah. And as you can see, that's super. That's an omen. That's a good omen. Right, that's my Minecraft server, which is currently down for the moment. It's going to be down for the night. I'm going to go to this. Um, 86... 148... Ah, oh, it disappeared. So, 86, 148, 16. So, 80.6.148.16. Six and then our part number seven six four eight. This is the address you will send to all your friends. You log into your server. And there you have it. And if the port checker says your port is open, your port is open. And it looks like mine's open. And it looks like it's working well. Oh cool, little face. Have you ever not have you ever seen that in a map? Yeah, cool, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty damn awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, he's even got a hair. Yeah, that's weird, but unless it looks more like a wolf when you stare when it yeah, it looks more like a wolf or a horse or something like that when it's like that, you know. It looks pretty cool. But anyways, enough babbling, this is it. That's done. That's it. That's part forwarding. That's how easy this is. Just remember to use the port that you was um, given with your um, sort of um, when you are actually port forwarding. You will end up being given a little protocol. That protocol will have TCP, UDP, and the name of what port it runs on. Use the port that it runs on to work on your server. When you do that, you'll have a perfectly working server. Good, uh, perfectly good working server. Now the one thing that I did mention is that since that's actually not supposed to be a very long, um, long-standing one, the one thing you want to do is get a static IP address as well. So if I just open the network and sharing center, um, I will do that now. Um, as you can see, it's all connected up here. If I go to the adapter settings and I right-click on one of them, and I go to properties. Hopefully this is the one that has the um, IP address um, 192.168.9 But anyways, then we go to I believe it's the um, IPv4 or Internet Protocol version 4 Go to properties And then you would use the following IP address You would type in the IP that the route is already on It will already come with that You type your default gateway in which is 192.168.1 or whatever your router comes with to type that in. Then the same with your DNS server. Once you've done that, you would click OK and there you go. That's done. You now have a static network. And you would do the same for any other network connections you wanted to run off of. So, I hope this has helped you in um, actually uh, port forwarding your own Minecraft server and uh, creating static addresses and all sorts of other cool stuff to try and keep your server working at its um, best and longest standing um, as it is. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will see you all again in another video. Probably another video tutorial showing you how to maintain a server.